everyone i did it i completed the 100 days of self-learning the electric bass now it has been a journey especially when i was learning the slap bass that was so difficult to learn at first and it was so painful to learn at first and as a violinist i do find the the transitioning between violin and bass that there are some similarities but at the same time it does feel awkward to switch between bass and violin especially if I've been playing the bass and then after that I immediately switch to play the violin um, especially when I'm recording the covers there's three covers that I did one is of Autumn Leaves one is of Can't Help Falling In Love With You and another one is The Dance The Night by Dua Lipa so I did those three and usually when I record it, I, I warm up on the bass first. I practice the bass line first because this is the new instrument. I'm a beginner at bass. I've been playing the violin for more than 20 years. So it's something that I can adjust to a lot, a lot quicker. So I usually start off with warming up on the bass, just practicing the bass line. And then when it comes to recording and then I switch to violin, it always feels awkward because the spacing between the notes on the bass is much bigger in comparison to on the violin where everything is smaller and then not to forget that the thickness of the strings as well bass strings are obviously much thicker than on violin so when i pressed it down the pressure that i put in order to press down the string between the bass and the violin is different so whenever i have to switch between the violin and the bass it always feels a little bit awkward especially if i started out with the bass first and then i picked up the violin to play so that has always been a little bit awkward but it is fun it is fun to be able to switch between between the two but generally my experience of playing the bass for this the first 100 days that i've been playing I would say that it is fun. I do enjoy it a lot. I have always loved bass instruments. I've loved bass, bass kind of instrument like cello or trombone uh, since I was very young, since I was a kid. But my, but I, my, my parents sent me to learn the violin, which is, which is still a nice instrument. I do enjoy playing the violin. I do love the violin. But I guess there's always that part of me that always long to play the bass. <coughs> so when I started out this journey of 100 of uh, 100 days of self learning the bass in a way i guess that's kind of like fulfill the inner child within me that that makes me feel very happy to finally play a, a bass type instrument um but then also i really enjoy playing the electric bass because i find it a lot easier to feel the groove when i'm playing the bass uh, I can do that with the violin too, but violin is very uh, is quite a treble instrument. So most of the time I play in, uh, I play melody with the violin. Sometimes I play the harmony a little bit here and there, but most of the time I play melody on the on the violin, which is fun. But when you play the bass, you can really feel how bass drive the groove of the music, and I really love that. So that's I think one of the experience when I learn bass, that is something that I really want to do and I want to improve on. They are uh, technically throughout this journey of 100 days, I didn't do a lot of grooves, okay? I played like Bossa Nova and I played like a little bit of um, disco-ish with that Dance the Night with uh, by, by Dua Lipa. But I'm, I won't consider myself as a bassist, at least not yet because I don't have full mastery of variety different types of groups so my moving on from this my plan is to basically to learn more groups i do feel like i need to improve on my left hand posture because every time i press on the strings i feel like i my fingers are kind of like especially my pinky is kind of like uh, flying around I still struggle a little bit with that so that is an area that i want to improve on but mainly i feel like i want to be better at playing grooves i want to be able to play disco music and funk music and swing music and bossa nova music and even explore a little bit of rock genre who knows we'll see if i'm uh, if i manage to learn enough to actually get that far and i really 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 want to get really really good in doing slap doing the slap bass i know i'm not aiming to be like um like the best in slap bass i just want to do enough 
for my own satisfaction. Like I don't want to impress anyone. I just want to be able to do slap bass and then be happy that I can do slap bass and and basically just a joy for myself to be able to do it. So if that is still a long way to go. I still can't do a lot of like I still can't get the nice tone for my slap yet. So that is kind of like the journey that I'm going to look going to improve on after this. And after this, I also decided to uh get a little bit of help playing uh play, like le learning the bass. So someone recommended me to a professional bassist here in Malaysia. I mean, I am a full-time musician, so I do know a lot of basses. So I did ask some of my bassist friend, like not some, just one. I just I did ask one of my bassist friend, uh, if I can learn a little bit of grooves from this person. Um, but then my friend kind of like instead recommended me to another bassist that is a lot more experienced, and I always respected, but never got a chance to formally. Um, introduce myself to this person or formally meet in any uh, gig setting or stuff like that until this happened so so my friend forwarded me to this um, basis that that everyone here in uh, in the scene Kuala Lumpur knows to be a really good basis and then I just send a message and say like uh, hey I'm just learning bass for fun can I learn a little bit from you like it doesn't have to be serious lesson I'm just I'm not like looking to be a sessionist or professional basis or anything like that I just want to learn for fun and I want to get better at it and feel good about it and and he's he was very kind he was very kind he was like oh I'm, I'm really impressed to see a violinist that wants to learn the bass and then he agreed to teach me so I don't know exactly how much lessons I will go for I, I just want to start first and then see if I can improve on my overall posture as well as overall tone and then get into the groove part of things so that will be very exciting so yeah so that's the plan and after this I don't know if I do any bass covers I might upload it here I do kind of like plan to continue to make bass content uh, on this YouTube channel um, I don't think I will do another hundred trace because it is quite stressful to make sure that I can record myself 100 days uh, because I don't have the best lighting so I have to use natural light during the day so uh, so it's a bit I'm not I'm not like I'm not a youtuber I don't have the gears to do it I'm recording this using a, a webcam for goodness sake so I don't know if I will do another 100 days I think the 100 days of practice that I did or the 100 days of self-learning that I did was enough um, and then after this, it's just I'm just going to learn from another professional basis to help me out, and then let's see from there if I can do a, a group properly, and then I can make a cover video from there. You never know. So I guess only time would tell. But they are uh, for those that uh, that followed my journey in lear in in learning the bass for the first one hundred days. Of, of me playing the bass, then I want to thank you very, very much. I receive a lot of tips from fellow bassists in the YouTube community and I appreciate every single one of them. Thank you so much for your encouraging words, for all of the advice that you give. Trust me that I do remember them and I do keep them in mind and I do plan to improve on them when I start learning with this professional basis. So thank you so much for following me on this journey. I appreciate it so much. I surprised myself for being able to complete the 100 days. So and I'm actually relieved that it's over because then it means that I can just practice without having the pressure of recording myself. So thank you so much and thank you so much for those that, that followed the entire 100 days. Thank you so much. I'll see you around. Bye.